Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video on this channel, and today I'm going to be playing The Force Unleashed 1. Now, I am a Sith, which, if you don't know, is the bad guys in the whole Star Wars saga, which I suggest you watch. This is going to be very cool, because we've got a lot of cool power-ups and cool sword moves. So, I'm excited to try it out. Now, it is a demo, so we don't have access to other levels. We only have this one here. But uh, there is an intro to it, which I suggest you watch if you do fancy getting this game. But it's basically uh, the rebels, the good guys in the Star Wars saga, have taken control of a Imperial base. And Darth Vader has trained me, my character, to become his apprentice. But uh, Lord Sidious, the really bad guy, doesn't know yet. So we have to kill everyone on board, which just makes it harder. So, yeah. So we've got, I'll show you one of the power up moves. We've got this, and we can smash things and windows. That's cool. And graphics are really good. It tells you sometimes to do things like what the special things are. And can I get behind here? No, okay, no. It's set off in space. Like, if you look out here, we're battling next to what looks like Coruscant and doesn't that just look very cool got a bunch of stuff here and we've also got a force push which is typical on your and here is our first enemy secure the bulkhead door there is our narrator. This is the hard part, trying to kill both armies. So, this game is a bunch of just very intense gameplay. And it just always gets harder along the way. Always gets harder. The green bar on the right side of the screen is my health, and the blue is stamina, like my energy. And I've unlocked a new force mechanism. Pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this guy into, into a TIE fighter. Ready? Uh, boom! Bye-bye. That didn't quite get on spot on, but who cares? Boom! There goes that. Oh, I just hurt myself by doing that. Ready? Join me and we can be best pals. Like, we can play Minecraft together. Which, if you don't know, you should join my Minecraft Survival Series. But, yeah, he, he doesn't think- he. I don't think he's gonna join me, so bye bye Well, yeah, let's go wipe out these guys very quick. That is one of the cool power-ups I get to use. And I'm gonna use it because it makes a lot of my, the killing way easier so we can move on in stages. But the thing that I really like about this game is that you can control the force. Which is like typical in your Star Wars movies. Keep on knocking out a bunch of these guys. Let's use more of our force lightning. If we can. So let's see what other enemies we have. We've got, oh my gosh, we've got a lot of guys here. And each time I kill someone, I find this part a little, like, psychotic. Because each time you kill someone, you get more health. Which is just, like, really cruel. Especially because I have to kill my own. Based on the storyline. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Dodge these guys and smack them out. You think you can hide from me? Join me and I won't smash you into an object. Uh, that, 
that can work. Um, join me and we can be best friends and play a uh, video game together. No, no, okay, bye bye. Oh, wait, that didn't work. Are you dead? You dead, bro? You dead? Yep, no, you You dead, bro. I think we've taken out all of our enemies. Oh, never mind. We have one last enemy to take out. Smash him into the TIE Fighter, because that's nice. And that, wow. I think he might have gotten stuck up there. But let's go and see the next part. I've played this to make sure it's a good game before I'm actually showing you guys. And I definitely recommend it. It's not horror. But, uh, but it is action filled for if you guys like war games. The one thing I do find dumb is that you can pick up one of these, not really hurt them, and then you let them go, full of health, then they just explode. Which is kind of weird, but you know, it's still a good game. Let's go and walk through here and take out these guys. Okay. Now when we walk through here, a bunch of them will start coming. I think I knocked him out almost. Let's finish him off just a little bit more. Okay, we'll do this again. Join me and, and you, we can be best pals. Do you, do you want to be best pals? Uh, okay, bye bye. Uh, okay, I meant, I meant, uh, classic Darth Vader. Bye bye! Now he's dead. So behind here, I'm guessing, is a holocron, which will give me some special power up like this one. And behind this door, I'm guessing, will be more enemies. Yippee! Okay, so these things here, the red things are bombs, so I'm gonna throw a bunch of bombs at the guys because I'm very nice. Oh, okay. Finish those guys off. Make sure they're nice and roasted for the party because we're definitely cannibals here, right? Here comes the Darth Vader music. That's never good. Well, I just got a little bit damaged from that. But that's okay, it's not a lot. And I'm probably gonna recover from eight some health from that guy. Eclipse to Starkiller. I've intercepted a message from a flight tower. The Imperials have mobilized a TIE fighter squadron in your sector. Keep your eyes open. Oh, there's some of the storyline over there. And as I remember, there will be guys right here too. You can never get a break in Star Wars. And I guess that's what this game really shows. Just throw him over there. Throw, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, this is one of my favorite parts in this video game. Oh gosh, hold on. I've got one of these guys to deal with. So now that we've got one guy here, I want to show you this. I will. I won't do anything. I'll just be. I'll say my usual stuff like you want to be pals, and then okay, that happened. That 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 that's what happened. The guy goes flying into nowhere because that's definitely what I wanted to happen. To almost completely what I wanted to happen. But I will get another guy so I can actually show you what I did want to happen. Okay. One more bomb should... Okay, that was completely off. One more bomb. Now we've gotten... This guy. I'll just throw him over there. Gotta change. Oh, okay, wrong guy. Wrong person to pick up. Let's go and take out this guy and I'll show you with a better guy. Okay, I guess I'll show you this guy. Basically, I put the guy here, 
And then I say my usual stuff, you want to be friends. And then, of course, he's going to try and shoot me right away. He tries to shoot, and then I'm like, okay, no, bye-bye. He just falls. And I don't think the sound's enough for you to hear that scream they have. It's very funny. It's like, ah! Sounds like a gorilla. Okay, let's go and take out these guys very quick. Right here. Almost done. And then we'll just smash this guy's head over into the control panel. And then, buddy, I, I didn't forget about you. Bye bye. Oh, wow. Th that's literally how I feel after I get off one of those spinny things at the park where, they, where someone pushes you and it spins. That's literally how I feel after I've been on one of those. So... That's basically how I feel, that spin. But now we're going to smash a bunch of guys because that's totally what I like. Now, keep on killing them. Let's see if we can use some strategy and lure them to come into the elevator. I'll climb, climb back in, throw some chargers in here. See, there's a little like charger in there, but okay, I'm here again. You know, go grab one of these gonna hide behind here look behind the corner with my with my view there doesn't seem to be a lot of guys so i'm gonna risk it and charge in use one of our special moves again that one is particularly my favorite one because it does the most damage and Oh, one of my least favorite parts is coming up. Now guys, if you see me smashing doors and there's nothing behind them, that's just because I want to make it look like I've, I've been there. Like, make the people know that I was there. Let's go in and impale this guy. Yep, just like that. We are done. Let's go try and get a hold of this guy. Okay, let's see if we can make him spin into a TIE Fighter. Oh, no, nope, that didn't work. But I do think I just smacked someone that was over there. See, here's the trap part, that comes out. So what my strategy is, is to usually just hide behind here. Wait for all the guys to come, deal with them separately, and then get that guy to come later. But I'm going to try and get that guy to come here. Okay, that's not going to work. But this will work. Oh gosh, I think the guys are coming, so I'm going to go and retreat again, back here. He's still firing at me, so I'm going to get this guy thrown over, like I usually do, because I'm cool. Bye bye! I say bye bye. Okay, now that that's done, let's go and intercept the big guy. He has a special move that makes you... Uh, when you're on the floor, he'll stomp his feet, and then you'll basically, like, die instantly, because that's, like, normal. But I don't want to have to restart, so I'm going to go, and do, this is my strategy. Force lightning him, lure him here somewhere, and then, and then, and then let's see what this power-up does. Oh gosh, we are losing health very fast. This is not good. Oh, I just hit the pause menu. See, that's the strike that makes me mad. And now I'm dead. So I don't want to waste your guys' time with me trying to catch up. So what I'm going to do is go 
and replay this for you and then I'll bring you back when I'm done. So I'll see you in a few minutes or a few seconds to you guys. Okay guys, we're back and I've taken out all the guys and I can finally show you how to knock this guy out. So basically, you force lightning this guy until your stamina is low. You keep on going behind him until you get stamina back. And right when he's about to attack, you do that again. And then you go and use one of your special moves. Or just something like this. But you try not to get hit by that too. And his health is going down slowly but surely. Sadly, I, I wish I could make it sooner. Let's go and re get our health back and force lightning this guy again. And now we have actually killed him. It's just computer play from here. But we've actually knocked this guys out and we've completed the level, guys. And here's the magical part about this game. It shows you what you can do if you actually get the full version, which I find pretty cool. So let's sit back and watch this. Oh, that's basically it. Now, I didn't use those power-ups because I haven't unlocked them yet, if you're curious why they show it, but I don't. But, really, you should totally get this game. I feel it's a total, really good investment. I wish I could get it, but I can't. So, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and will think about getting this game. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your constant support. We're almost at 50 subscribers. Pretty good, guys. Please like th this video, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.